Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our essential environment setup. Now in this video, I want to install Laravel. So if you want to install Laravel, simply go to that Laravel official website, that is a laravel.com. And from here, if you go to that documentation, and into this documentation, you can see right now there is a latest version as a 9. So we will develop our Laravel project with using that version 9. And here, that is if you go to that uh, getting started, that is the installation. And into this installation here, you can see there is a very good one of the documentation. Like if you want to start at your first project, you can see there is a, your first Laravel project. And there is a getting started with the Mac and then Windows, Linux, Sales Service and via the Composer. I want to do to install that Laravel project via the Composer. If you click it on the, the via Composer, and you can see there is installation via Composer. So if you want to install it via the Composer, we have to do, we have to also install that Composer before, right? So if you want to install that Composer, simply go to that getcomposer.org. And here you can see there is the Composer. The Composer is one of the dependency manager for the PHP. Right now, Composer latest version as a 2.2.7. I have already installed it. Like if you go to the download and into this download, that is a two process. You can install that software. There is a Windows installer. Simply go to that composer setup.exe. So when you click it on here, it will be downloaded one of the exe file. It's very simply one of the process when you click it or in particular exe file that that will be the next next process and then your composer will be installed in your system perfectly like when you install it if you want to check it like if you go to your command prompt i want to do and to write down as a command prompt so there is a command prompt if you open this command prompt and into this command prompt if you write with the composer Okay, composer. I want to do and to check that version. If you click as enter, now you can see there is composer all the details. That means I have already installed that composer, and you can see I'm using that composer version as a 2.2.7. So I will highly recommend it. Simply um, download that composer setup.exe and install that if composer in your system. Rather than you can also install it via the command line, and that is the command line. Okay, friend, I have already installed it as I told you for the reasons you can see it's now successfully displayed that Composer 2.27. Right now I am using that version, which is totally fine. Now I want to do and install that Laravel project. So that is a Laravel project, um, one of the command line we have to run. So before run it in our local storage, that means as I told you, that is our local storage and that is our stdocs. And stdocs is the main root directory of your local server. So first of all, I want to do, I want to create one of the folder for our project and I just name it as a project, okay, project one. So that will be our project name, whatever the name actually you choose. So you can also create this project in your desktop is totally fine. But right now I want to do, I want to create that project in our local storage as in our XT docs area. Now, if you open it and in particular that position, I want to install the Laravel. Okay, here, if you write down the CMD, then that will be our appropriate location that is our st docs here i have created on the project folder name as a project one so as i told you friend i have already installed that composer uh, you can also create that means you can also install that composer via the one of the command line if you want to do that work simply copy it i copy it and now i want to do i want to paste it okay and to paste it in here and after that if you click as the enter then that will be also installing your composer in particular that area. Okay, it will be created some of the file as a composer setup.far and then composer.far. And then that is option for the unlink. So automatically it will be removed that composer setup.php. And also again, you want to check it. Your composer is installed or not with the composer and then version. Okay, now click as enter. Now you can see our composer is successfully installed. That is a 2.2.7 version right now I'm using. Okay, friend, it's great. And after that, we are now able to install our Laravel project. Right now we don't need this. I simply close it. And now if you go to that Laravel official website, installing via the composer, I simply copy it. And now I want to do and to paste it. Okay, so that will be our command. That is a composer create project and Laravel Laravel, and that will be your project name. So right now I want to do and to create our project name. I simply name it. That will be one of the basic projects. So I make it as a basic. Okay, 
so I make it as a basic so now if you click as enter it will be install uh, total Laravel project okay you can see it's now downloading all that Laravel project and in particular that area it will be created on the basic folder yeah you can see it's already created on the folder as a basic so friend it may take little time better when it will be done then I will come back again Friend here you can see our Laravel project is now successfully created. So application key is set successful and when everything will be done that will be redirected to our same folder again. Okay, that is a project folder. And here you can see that is our project as a basic project and that is all that our file is texture. It's downloaded all that file from to the internet. When you install it, make that sure you are connected with the internet. Okay. So now our project is now successfully created and if you go to documentation again the after that create that project we have to do we have to go to our project folder that is a CD that means the change directory and then our project name. Okay, so now I want to do and to redact it and that means right now I have created our project name as a basic from here right now we are in particular project one folder from to this folder I want to do and to change that directory and our project name will be as a basic right now click as enter now you can see it's now successfully changed that directory and then it's now redacted to our basic right that is our basic folder right now we are in particular that area you can also change the directory like that way rather than if you want to access it directly you can also access it like right now i am already in particular that folder and in here if you write down as a cmd click as enter now you can see it's now perfectly in our basic folder you can do that things both of this way okay now I simply close it uh, right now it's totally fine I have already changed that directory and now I want to do I want to run our PHP artisan SARP when you run it then that will be initialize our project environment I show you like here I want to, to paste it now there is a PHP artisan SARP now click as enter now you can see that is our Laravel development server mode is on and that is our one of the port. I simply copy this port. Now if you go and paste it, now click as enter. Yeah, you can see our Laravel is totally installed successfully. How much easy it is you can see friend. So step by step everything I will cover. I hope Laravel will be very much easy to you. And right now we are using that Laravel version 9.4.1 and my PHP version is also display as a 8.1.2. Okay, so friend how much easily we install that Laravel project. I hope it's very much clear to you. So now I want to do, I want to take that folder. That means our basic folder. I want to take it in our sublink text editor. Okay, here it's very easy. Drag and drop. I simply select it and I just throw it in here. That is the, our basic project. Okay great so you know next video i will discuss about that laravel default all that file is texture i hope it will help you a lot so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video